Seafood grown using stem cells could be produced on a commercial scale here in Singapore as early as next year. Two food tech firms are setting up manufacturing plants to get a slice of the multi-billion dollar global seafood market. Our reporter Melissa Goh gets an exclusive taste of the world's first cell-based crab prototype. Now this is a cell-based rendition of a local favorite chili crab. Let's give it a try. There's the sweet aroma of crab, packed with a punch of spice, but it's still missing that flaky texture of crab meat. Shok Meat says that's what it's working on through a process called scaffolding. If you go to a restaurant and eat crab meat from a shell, the, the texture that you see, like chunks of meat, however it is inside the crab, that's what's next for us. Hopefully in the next couple of years. Producing a kilogram of minced crab from stem cells used to cost a Singapore startup $10,000 three years ago. In six months, though, it's expecting the price to drop to less than 1% of that, or $50 a kilo. It's aiming to apply for regulatory approval this year and have a commercial plant up and running towards the end of next year. So the biggest hurdle is scale up. You're taking a biomedical technology that's meant for healthcare and putting it into food. From a couple of grams, we're trying to make hundreds and thousands of kilograms. Hong Kong-based startup Avant Meats is also in the process of seeking regulatory approval here for cultured fish fillet and fish maw. It's eyeing Singapore for its manufacturing facility, as it's the only country with a regulatory precedent for approving the sale of cell-based meat. We are a new technology. Um, having a third party doing like very rigorous vetting and review of the process is very important to convey high level of confidence on the part of consumers. One food security expert says this confidence fuels Singapore's bid to become a hub for novel food. But whether all this furthers the import reliant island's food security goals is still to be seen. People must be able to afford to buy it. So unless cultured meat can reach a price point you know, that is acceptable to the majority of consumers, it probably won't be the main product for proteins on the market. Singapore has approved only one novel food, cultured chicken, since introducing its regulatory framework in 2019.